Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Snake DSC. As a disclaimer before the video starts, let me get into the build. Uh, this is not my build. This is my friend's build. Please go check out his channel, Jersey's Ghost. It can be found in the featured. It can be in the description below. And also, he might be in the comments somewhere as well, answering any questions. This is his build. Feel free to go check out his channel, like I said. Uh, enjoy the video, guys. Check you guys later. Know your place, yeah. Know your place, yeah. I got licks to hit like right now. I'm impatient. I got women on the cell trying to give me hell, yeah. I still wish a nigga would. I still wish him well, yeah. Hey what's up guys, so in my last upload I posted the highlights of my new build in action and a few of you really wanted me to post the build video for it like I said I would. Well now is your chance to check out my setup. Quick disclaimer before we start, this build and all that it's specced on works for me. You do not have to copy the exact build and may change whatever you want as you deem fit on your own character. If you disagree with something you're entitled to your opinion and by all means feel free to comment, but let's keep it non-toxic. With that being said, let's get into it. To start it off, my primary weapon is an exotic, the Bullfrog, fully optimized. Known for its bouncy recoil, it may be a pain to use from time to time if you haven't already mastered it, and in my case, I have not, which is why this specific build is focused on the use of the Bullfrog only and keeping that 15% extra damage its exotic talent comes with. My weapon talents are deadly, responsive, and uncomplicated. Uncomplicated, for those who are unaware, damage is increased by 15%, Accuracy and stability mods reduce this bonus, so for my attachments there will be no accuracy and no stability mods in use. What I do use for this weapon is an extended magazine with 120% magazine size, 3% critical hit chance, and 4% critical hit damage, a loud vent break with 19% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 6% headshot damage, a C79 scope with 19% critical hit damage, 5.50 headshot damage, and 3% critical hit chance, and lastly a hand stop with 27.50 reload speed, 4.50% optimal range, and 4% critical hit damage. The reason I use a hand stop is specifically for that extra reload speed because I want to minimize my chances of even having to switch to my secondary weapon at all, keeping me in the action. And the reason I chose responsive over anything else was because if you've seen my video, I'm able to beam people from a fairly far distance. So that way I'm still doing damage from distance because of that 15% I'll have. But if they try to rush me because most players use an SMG, I have that responsive ready, giving me even more damage when they get closer. For my secondary weapon, I run the only gun people seem to want to use in this game, the house. So I'm sure the majority of you are familiar with its exotic talent. I didn't really put too much care into the attachments for this weapon since my goal is to not to have to switch to it at all while fighting, but below you can read up on the attachments and talents I'm using on it. For my sidearm, nothing special, I just use the Damascus because I personally love the Beretta M9 and the design that the Damascus comes in. The most important thing about this is that it has predatory. So once I down an enemy and smack him with my pistol, it procs, giving me a heal over time for a few seconds, which can really shift the outcome of a fight from time to time. Alright, let's get into the gear pieces, starting off with my Predator's Mark chest piece, rolled in stamina. Its major attributes are health and skill haste, its minor attributes are ammo capacity, and the performance mods are both prototype firearms mods with critical hit chance. Next up, we have my Striker's Mask, which is also rolled in stamina. Its major attribute is 4% critical hit chance, minor attribute is 17% burn resistance, and the performance mod used with this piece is a prototype stamina mod with critical hit chance. Next, we have a pair of Banshee knee pads, which I've rolled into firearms. The major attribute is 9% critical hit damage. Its minor attribute is 33% disrupt resistance, 56% increased kill XP, which doesn't really matter at all, and 16% damage to elites, which also doesn't really matter at all. I just can't re-roll them. Uh, the performance mods I'm using on this is a prototype firearms mod with critical hit chance and a prototype performance mod with first aid self heal. 
Now to introduce the exotic gear piece within the build, which is the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag. For those who don't know, its talent is slots in with any equipped gear set item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set's bonus. Can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously cannot unlock classified gear set bonuses. So basically, if you don't already know, if you have like two pieces of striker in your build while wearing this backpack, it comes out as a total of three. So basically it replaces, you know, just that extra set if you didn't already know that. Its major attribute is 16.50 stability. Its minor attribute is 56% ammo capacity and the performance mods are a prototype stamina mod with critical hit chance, prototype performance mods with pulse critical hit chance as well. For those who are wondering why I rolled stability instead of health or critical hit damage or chance or whichever one it is that rolls on backpacks, can't remember at this moment. The reason I rolled stability is because the bullfrog does bounce a lot without attachments that have stability or accuracy. But if you roll stability on your gear piece, it does not affect that 15% that that exotic talent is giving you. So it's easier to make the bullfrog more stable on your gear pieces instead of the attachments. That way you're keeping that damage and you'll be able to control it better. Also, I forgot to mention that the backpack is rolled in firearms. For the gloves, we have a pair of Predator Marks gloves rolled in firearms with its major attributes being critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and assault rifle damage. As for the holster, it is a Banshee holster with its major attribute being critical hit chance and its performance mods are a prototype performance mod with first aid self heal. So on this screen I wanted to go over all the set bonuses you would be receiving from this build that have been unlocked by the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag. 2 piece striker giving you that extra 20% stability, 3 piece banshee giving you that 20% looted DZ funds, but that's not important. The most important thing is getting that 10% damage to targets out of cover since that damage is multiplicative. And 3 piece pred giving you 10% reload speed, 8% assault rifle damage, and 8% SMG damage. The extra stability from Striker and having it rolled on your bag will make the Bullfrog so much easier to control and beam with from distance as you'll see towards the end of this video if you haven't already seen my highlights video. The reload speed also helps you not have to switch it all to your secondary so you waste no time to kill your target. And here are the overall stats of my build. Keep in mind some of my stuff still needs to be optimized. For my skills I run a tactical scanner to help with my crit hit chance bringing it up more. Though with you hitting so hard, it's not a big deal if it's low, but the pulse def helps. Plus tactical scanner also adds damage to your weapon, but a booster could work well too. An immune box for a heal and if there's pred around, and a green because if you're solo it'll proc for you and so on and so forth. My talents are critical save, on the move, adrenaline for pred, and strike back. If I'm in a team I'd remove adrenaline just for a combat medic so you can heal your teammates and you know, be useful. <laughs> And just for those interested, these are my controller settings. My camera sensitivity is at 100%, my aim sensitivity is at 90%, my scope sensitivity is at 100%, and my dead zone is at 5%. Um, keep in mind that this also varies on your play style and what you're comfortable with, so what my settings are may not completely work for you, but if you want to give them a try and see if they're the settings you've been looking for, then by all means go for it and test it out with this build. That being said, I guess it's time for me to show you guys some highlights and gameplay footage of me using this build, if you haven't already seen the video, so here it is. Uh, 
your boy, we got some racks now, stacks now Also so hard, like harder when I dash, you had to back down Couldn't sell my soul to get a bag, but I cash out and your manhunt will be cleared. 